and the topic is rules of debit and credit. So the learning objectives as per accountancy cognitive domain we have tried to cover. Students will be able to understand the meaning of debit and credit. Next, students will be able to recognize various items of as per the nature of account. Next, we have taken they will be able to memorize and recall the five aspects of modern approach. So the works we have taken is understand, recognize, memorize and recall in cognitive domain. Acha, wait, I have a question. Yes. Where you have taken this understand verb from? Has it been mentioned in the cognitive domain? Memorize. Yes. Is it? Yes. Ma'am, tell No. Is understanding measured? How you will be able to measure their understanding? And they are memorizing something that is also not there. I have already clearly specified, pick and choose the verbs that are given over here. This is the, like uh, our problem that we are not referring to the correct verbs. That's why we are saying smart learning outcomes which are measurable also. You cannot check anybody's understanding. You don't have any meter. Thermometer, sphygmomanometer, nothing will work over there to check the understanding. Either they will define or they will list something or they will identify rightly said. Okay. So after this you will be changing it. Okay. Now the next one. Next one is a detective domain where we are given students are able to categorize. was very hungry for a few days. One fine day, he saw a wedding happening on the other side of the river. So here, the learning outcome of the first set is perceived. The dog really perceives the smell of good food coming out from the Indian wedding. From there, he could smell the food. But the place was too far. He got an idea to travel to the other side and through land transport, that is, train. <laughs> then the second skill set came, the set. Then and there only, he has taken a decision which includes the decision making power of a dog. And he has decided to attend the wedding because he was so much hungry from past few days. He booked the ticket and started his journey but could not complete it. As later he got to know that the bridge was broken. So he came back. So here comes the third set which is the guided response. The guided response he tried and used different modes of transport and to reach there he used his all the skills to move that transport and try and done various errors while reaching his journey to the wedding. He sat under a tree and was very upset. Then one idea clicked in his mind and he thought to travel through water transport. He tried to travel through water transport and did not lose hope. Then he started making a boat and while making his boat he found he was very very tired but he completed his boat and started his journey. Here came the fourth skill set, mechanized. He didn't know how to ride a boat as he got to know that the bridge was broken so 
he thought that he would not lose his bow and would make a boat on his own. But he didn't know how to float the boat and ride with the stick eventually. But then also he didn't lose the bow. He tried and made the boat. While traveling, he met one of his old friends, Fishy. While he was talking to the Fishy, he told her that he was hungry and is traveling for food to the other side, but has lost his way. Then Fishy helped him by guiding the way. Here came the next skill set, which is complex overt response. Though he was losing his hope because he was in the middle of the river and he did not know where to go, where's the way, how to cross the river because it was too far from the river. The wedding was very far from the river. <coughs> then there came a friend and then he decided to take the help from his friend, the fishy and then she guided him the way to reach the river and then he also, the boat was also able to take the turns and the twist to reach the side of the river. <coughs> he reached the other side following her instruction and ate yummy food. After eating the food, now he was thinking how to go back as he was very tired and did not want to sail in the boat. So there he saw one of his friends and who was going to the same place. Next skill set which is adaptation and origination. Here the adaptation came with lot of uh, skills and the practice that he has done while traveling to the boat and now as a man also guided that the boat was started moving very smoothly and then it didn't want his uh, brain to be there to move that stick to the brain. It was moving very smoothly. So because of his continuous effort and not losing the bow, he was able to ride that boat very smoothly. And then the origination. Origination, the skill set tells you that it all depends on the child's mindset and the confidence that the teacher gave to the child that you are enough. You can do each and everything if you have uh, much of the confidence that yes, you can do it. And then you also have seen that the dog was also able to cross the river by using his bow. His friend offered him that he is traveling to the same place using air transport, that is his private jet. And he was very happy and accepted the offer and traveled with his friend. So we should never lose hope. Thank you so much. Wonderfully presented. Amazing.